Yes, people, Skeesh and Prince. Today, we're going to talk about how to restore your confidence back using three easy tips that I like to give to players. So, as you know, I'm running a free 50 minute cons consultation with myself. Um, listen, I'm happy to sit down with you for 15 minutes and go through different diagnostics with yourself and where you need to improve your confidence and using game IQ, game Pacific. The link's in the bio 15 minutes for free. And yeah, I'll meet you there uh, whenever time you book. But let's get straight to the video. So listen, we've all been there where you make a mistake on a pitch. And then as soon as that happens, your confidence starts going down. Your thoughts starts to become louder. You know, you start to become shy of the ball. You're not trying to demand from the ball. Now, there's three things I usually tell players that can restore your confidence back. And obviously, it takes a bit of time. I usually see results, depending on the in severity of the person's confidence and lowest self-esteem, take about at least two to three weeks where you can start to see immediate impact. Some players are quicker, some players are longer, depending on the self-esteem. But number one is self-talk. Now, people don't realize how important self-talk is. Now, and I believe you all and I have done it where we give yourself the incorrect self-talk where you speak doubt to yourself and say, oh my days, what is that, etc. We are so quick and know how to speak deaf to ourselves. We have not been taught ourselves how to speak positive, positivity and life. So there was a study that was published by the Journal of Sport Exercise Psychology and they found out that all positive self-talk was associated with increased confidence levels in athletes. And they found out that the athletes who engaged in positive self-talk experienced high levels of self-confidence and performed better in those respective sports. Another one found in the University of Queensland in Australia investigated the impact of positive self-talk on confidence and performance in football players and they found that athletes who use positive self-taught techniques experience increased confidence levels and demonstrated better performance during training sessions and matches and there's so much studies and case studies of players um, uh, where they've seen increased levels of the players performance based on self-taught now you may ask yourself what do i say now again it's a free guide in the link as well you can click you can download the free guide and everything i'm saying Usually what you'll say is, number one, you'll say your name. So you'll say, for example, I'll say my name. I'll say, Keishan, you are confident. Keishan, you are confident. You have to say your name. You've got, it's not saying I am. Say your name. Okay. Then there's others. Like you say, Keishan, you are strong. Keishan, you, know, you are skilled. You're resilient. Like you're determined. You're fearless. If you feel fear, Keishan, you are fearless. Keishan, you are fit. You have to repeat yourself. Repeat yourself seven times, seven times. And you keep going. You don't have to say it loud. You can say it onto it in your breath. You can just murmur on your for breath. And keep saying it until it sinks in. Uh, that's number one. Now the second tip is focus on the basics. Well, soon as your confidence loss is very simple uh, strategy that I like to tell players, it should just go back to the basics. Meaning, if you're seeing yourself, you're doing skills is not working, and your confidence go back. Okay, step back, take a touch, play it back. Get onto the ball, take a little dribble, little dribble, a little drop of the shoulder, and then you build it back up again. Instead of going straight to level three. Go back to level one. Level one may be, I don't know, a dribble. It may be you doing, you know, something else. It may be doing, you know, whatever, two steps there or whatever. And then level two may be a case of doing a double step over. Instead of the third one, maybe a case of where you're doing, you know, a double step over with, a, you know, with, uh, reverse hocus pocus, whatever. So you go back to the basics. When I mean basic, just easy skill, level one, simple dribble, whatever. All right. Number three is visualize success. So another one, this is very important. Again, it's a free visualization, guys. I'll be giving you guys, boy, I don't know what to say. But anyway, visioning yourself doing positive outcomes is huge, okay? You can boost your confidence easy by just closing your eyes for like when you're tracking back on the ball, whatever, even if you're half time, I say it's hard to do it on the pitch. You know, obviously if you have those quick moments, but Ronaldo does it when he takes three quits, he closes his eyes and we've seen him do it and then takes two steps. In those two steps, he's looking at himself scoring in those quick seconds. So to, some players are very good when they can visualize success very instantly. Uh, where you just take a moment, close your eyes, take a deep breath, send it to yourself and imagine you successfully completing a pass or you, should, you know beating a man, wherever it could be. And again, I'll put a guide online where you can download the free uh, free confidence um, hack that I can help you uh, restore that but like I said if you're interested in speak to me personally about other things then feel free to click the calendar and I'm more than happy to sit down and talk with you and help you go to the next level let's go